do you think it was deliberate, like, uh, attempts by the referee to, you know, to cause the problem? You know, it was a deliberate attempt by the referee to mess that game up. Because to me, for me, it's, it's, it come across to me like match fixing. Like the referee fixed the game for Real Madrid. <laughs> well, uh, match fixing is not an Igbo word. It's an English word, which means there's match fixing. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I like that. I like, I like that. I like that so, one. I like that so, one. That one's, and you enter. So definitely, uh, there's match fixing. Just that uh, the men came out to tell there's match fixing. Coming to that red card incident, I was, I was, I was devastated. I was, I was unhappy with it because Mendy shifted the ball. Yes, Rem, there was a contact from yeah. from Remo, but. You know, Mendy have always shifted the ball, and Remo was not even the last player. There's another defender. So, it's, for me, yes, it's, you know, it's, uh, it's a goal scoring opportunity, but he's not, one, Remo is not the last man, and secondly, uh, Mendy has somehow pushed the ball slightly out, you know, from, from going one yeah, goal. From, so, uh, I don't know, and the red card, you know, it's not, uh, the referee did not even hesitate to, to brandish the, the red card, and he didn't even come. So I don't know, the VR of Shabada, he, he didn't let him know, look, I think you, have, you should have a you know, a review of this, but just like that, no review, nothing. But I, I, I thought, I don't, I don't know, I thought they said VAR can overturn a red card if they review it and find out that it's not supposed to be a red card. My problem is, okay, let's say the referee was a Vazilios, mm. he acted on impulse. Was that not the reason why we have VAR and VAR is supposed to come in? Why is the Champions League, do you have VAR not acting like the English uh, Premier League VAR? Uh, is, is it, is, uh, did they borrow from I don't England. know. Did they borrow from England? <laughs> is that a uh, Ijebu, sorry, Chinese, uh, China, China, China VR. VR that the, <laughs> I, don't, I don't get it. Uh, you see, uh, when that happened, it, it made me to, uh, I, I remember the Chelsea, Chelsea, uh, uh, ATM, Atletico Madrid game, when that, uh, when Juri scored that goal. You know, it took long, you know, it, it, even in the World Cup, you've seen incidents when, if there's a VR incident, you see the review, even you that is watching the game, you see the review. Yeah. So you can say, okay, this is what this will is be why the likely, this, this might be the likely outcome or this. Or, but you know, at that Chelsea game, nothing. They didn't show us anything. The referee was just closing his head before you know it's okay. He said, good, it's not good. And that's what happened yesterday. Nothing. Just maybe announcing the replays after the. You know, so for me, the VR official, you. you yeah, he had a bad day yesterday. There is no consistency with VR. That's mm. my pr my biggest problem is that there is no consistency with VR. One minute, uh, uh, they are showing you a replay. They're showing you the clip of minute by minute or frame by frame uh, movement of players. Why this is an offside? Why the air in the armpit is longer than the <laughs> jersey and that put the, put Firmino in an offside position? Or why the toenail mm -hmm. of uh, Sadio Mane is coming out of his football boot? And or why the shadow of his arm is? You know they no. give us all those. But in this case, it was nothing like that. Nothing. And I'm wondering. See, eh, I'm open to every conspiracy theory as far as football is concerned because I'm one of those people who said, and I'm still going to say, football is fixed, is rigged, and it is rigged to favor the rich, high, and mighty clubs. Every once in a while, they play this emotional card with everybody's intelligent and allow FC Porto, like in 2004, and Monaco to play the finals of the Champions League, allow Arsenal to get to the finals uh, in 2005, if I'm not mistaken. After that, they go back to the status quo. 2006, sorry. They go back to the status quo. They go back to the, the no. Illuminati order, and they keep it like that. And that's exactly what we saw with that game. Cut uh, Atlet Atlanta to size, cut one man off the game, and then that their, you know, full, effervescent attacking system would be hot. And that's exactly what happened. They succeeded in making them play with caution for the whole 90 minutes and in the 86th minute, uh, uh, what's it called? Felad Vavadi, Mendy so got the goal, and now um, Madrid are feeling like, oh, we went to Budapest and we won against Atlanta. But if you want to win, you, you need to win fair and square. I don't think that. See, this is me. I'm not, I'm not against Real Madrid, but I don't think that they won this fair and square. And then it takes us back to the finals of Champions League against Liverpool and a whole lot of things that happened. And I, I, I think that this makes uh, Real Madrid come out as a very disgusting team because mm. to me, they robbed Atlanta. And it's not just me blaming the, the referee. It's like of Rebo, Barcelona versus Chelsea. It's like um, Barcelona at no camp against Arsenal where... Robbie Van Persie was red carded for no just cause because Arsenal were on the ascendancy and it seems like Arsenal were going to cause problems. And then Barcelona celebrated saying they won the game 4 0. But then you, were, you robbed the opposition. That's exactly what's happening. And these are the things that taint the success of Spanish teams in European competition. Mm. I don't know if 
my ad boss or my anger is justified. I don't care what anybody think is not justified, but I just think that Real Madrid, in, in couple with the referee, robbed the opposition Atlanta. And I think Atlanta deserved to go for that. It will be very great justice, poetic justice, and for the love of the game, the good of the game, if Atlanta goes to the, in three weeks time, goes to the reverse game and beats Real Madrid, whether it's anywhere, I don't know where they want to play that game, like they're playing in the mood, but if Atlanta beats them and knocks them out of the competition, that would be, like for me, that would be like Atlanta winning the UEFA Champions League and the World Club, World Club Cup and even winning the FIFA World Cup in my own mind. Mm. That, that would be great for me. You are listening to Elegbete TV Radio.